When you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There are no shortcuts to success. Stop thinking they are. And stop wanting people to put you somewhere that you didn't earn. I fought too long. I fought too hard. I will break you before you break me. What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? The decisions you make right now is up to you. I really feel like if I do these things, I'm going to be successful. Execute on the things that you said you were going to execute on. You have to outwork them. You gotta outgrind them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute. The reason why I speak with so much passion, because I'm talking about my life, not something that I read. There is no excuse for not living up to the fullest potential. No excuse. Don't let your words guide you. Let your actions guide you. Now listen to me. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care what you're going through. As long as you're waking up, you're still in the game. As long as you're alive, you can still make it happen. As long as that breath in your nostrils, you're still in the game. You still can win. Now get your butt up. I hope I do not believe in you more than you believe in yourself. They looked at the most successful men and women of the world and they found that they had like seven, eight things in common. And one of the things they all had in common was a routine. They are obsessed with their routine. There are those of you in this room, you spend a majority of your life doing what other people want you to do. You don't even know who you are. And so even what you're doing, you're not doing at 120% because you're doing what somebody else wants you to do and you're not that, you're not good enough to be somebody else. I need you to be selfish on the dream piece because what you have to understand is when you know who you are and you start operating that, you're going to start blessing people in the way you couldn't bless people before when you didn't really know who you were. I don't want nothing from you but for you to leave this room and know what you want. What do you want in your marriage? What do you want with your son and your daughter? What do you want in your health? What do you want financially? Like, how do you want to live? Stop just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. Listen to me very closely. When you graduate and you get a job, if you want to get paid, you never say no. You never say it can't get done. Don't you ever say out your mouth it can't get done. Even if you feel in your heart it can't get done, you don't say it out loud. You let the broke folks say that. You let the folks they find first say that. You always say it can get done. Even if you don't think it can get done, just say it and try to make up something. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more playing. If you have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is studying. Get off the phone. Sorry, I'm not available until the end of this year. No, I'm for real. You reached the right number, but you called me at the wrong time. Call me back January 1st. I'm about to get busy now. Whatever you do, I guarantee you when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that something too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself. I don't care what level you get to. I need you to dream. I need you to focus on why you were born in the first place. Why are you here on earth for this particular time? What are you doing here? It feels good being me. Cause guess what? I can never be sweet being you. You need to tell you that you owe you something. There are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding.
Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. Rich people don't waste time. They realize it's their most important commodity. They don't watch a lot of TV. They don't do a lot of entertainment. If they're not working, they're studying their craft and getting better at their craft. Every day when I wake up, I got all kind of demands. You got all kind of demands. And the reason why you're not where you want to be is not because you're not great, but you taking all other people's stuff before you spend enough time with yourself to get to know you and get to know what you want and what you should do. Don't be average, like for real, for real. Whatever it is you do, like do, like do it, do it, and take a different perspective. I said, I'm gonna grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day. I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. The day you stop evaluating yourself, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die. Is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity I have to reprove myself again. I need you to spend a considerable amount of time dreaming every single day. Let me tell you why. I've noticed that the people who dream and those people who dream big have a different kind of life than the people who don't dream. Bring all the energy, all the passion, bring it all together and dominate. But you better stop making excuses and find a way to win. I focus more on winning than I focus on structure. I focus on winning. What's your why? Why do you wake up in the morning? Why do you put on that jersey? Why do you go out and practice? Why? I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to I gotta breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you will never be successful in life. When you're a winner, winning spreads. Because winners win. Because it's not about where you come from. It's about hearts. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You got to have hearts. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. But I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. Why have you never gone after your calling? 